Understanding co-transport is probably the most challenging, so let's get started. This purple line represents the phospholipid bilayer. And in co-transport, we need two channels for the passage of ions and molecules. Let's put some kind of active transport transport protein in the membrane here and some kind of channel protein over here. The goal of this video is to show you how the cell can bring in more glucose. As you see it already has a lot of glucose on the inside so we have a high concentration of glucose on the inside and the outside we have a low concentration of glucose out here. So let me just write one more outside to illustrate what we're going to do. Over here at this transport protein the cell is going to use ATP to pump sodium ions against the concentration gradient. That means we have a lot of sodium on the outside and not very much sodium on the inside. That's why we need the ATP. It's like canoeing upstream on a river. We still haven't brought in any glucose. We've only pumped out sodium ions. So, the sodium's free now to diffuse in through this channel protein. At the same time, it brings in a glucose molecule. It's kind of like they um, hold hands. No ATP needed on this side. We only use ATP on this side to bring in, to pump out the next sodium ion.